Grow It in San Diego, California. He writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, what's up with near field subs? You mentioned this in a recent episode. Can you please elaborate? Pros, cons, let me know. Thanks for all your hard work creating this content. I love your enthusiasm and appreciate your teachings. <laughs> well, that's very kind. I'm not sure about teachings, but I do ramble on about this and that and share my experience with you, and I'm glad to do that. It's, it's, it's fun, and it's a privilege and an honor to be able to, to get with all of you. So thank you very much. I have talked about near field subs and our senior hardware engineer and, and resident electrical genius Darren Myers has some wonderful near field subs that are inches from your head. And, and you'd think that that would ruffle your hair if nothing else. <laughs> I mean, they're like 20 inch subs, it's crazy. And you don't even notice they're there. You don't. So with proper setup, I said it a hundred times, I'll say it a hundred more times, the challenge with the subwoofer is to not hear it. And that's our goal. We want to hear bass, we want to have our main speakers playing bass, low, deep, satisfying, growling bass, but we don't want to hear it coming from the subs. So one of the problems with subwoofers, one of the biggest problems with bass in general, of course, our room. And one of the reasons we need subwoofers, because our room. Because where we place our main speakers isn't necessarily and probably not the best place to propagate bass and its long wavelengths that bunch up in corners and cancel and I mean bass is a nightmare in a room. So and it's the room that's causing all that problem. And so we have to focus on setting our main speakers up where they work best from top to bottom as low as we can go. And then we're gonna augment the rest with a subwoofer. Now when we do that, if we were to place the subwoofers right next to the main speakers, we would accomplish nothing. It's not because our speakers, well, at least the speakers that we make, don't go down, they do. The Aspen series of loudspeakers that PS Audio makes, we go down to like 23, 24 hertz. That's plenty low, believe me, that, that'll ruffle your feathers, but not where they're typically placed in the room. So if you place a set of subs next to a pair of Aspen loudspeakers, it won't help. It, it, it's not that they don't have bass, it's that that spot in the room isn't where bass can hit you at your listening position. So, ergo, therefore, you need to place subwoofers somewhere other than where the main speakers are. Now, in Music Room 3, we set it in the very back of the room, in the center. We just did some measurements, we moved it around. That's where it worked best. We could also have eliminated the room problem altogether with a near field sub. And near field subs are by design right next to you. That's why they're called near field. It's right in the near field. And there, th their sound comes out before anything happens in the room and you get near perfect bass response because you're right in the field of the subwoofer. And it works really, really well. Problem with near field subs is an aesthetic and a practical one. Do you have room for a big sub sitting inches from your head? It could be on the sides of the couch. It could be behind you. you I've seen them where you take the subwoofer and you flip it up so it points up to the ceiling. You place it behind the couch and you make it all look nice, put some plants back there and nobody ever knows. That works too. In our listening room three, it's not really practical to have near field subs. It doesn't look cool, it just isn't practical. So we take the second opportunity to find a place in the room where that subwoofer works. But yes, near field subs are amazing if you can figure out a practical way that your spouse will allow. 
<laughs> it, it, <laughs> or your customers, whoever shows up. So, you know, we do a lot of tours here. And, and we are open again for tours. So do, do if you're in the Boulder area, do come by. You don't need an appointment. It's better if you have one, but you don't need one. Just show up right in the lobby. There's a red phone. Pick it up. Hey, Paul said I can come here for a tour. So here I am. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.